Morning pretty petals, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show you my what I eat in a day. Lately I have been able to get down to my ideal size and I'm so happy with my routine and my diet and I just want to share it with you. I hope you enjoy and if you do give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and become a pretty petal and join me on my journey let's get into the video so i've got a full lemon and about the same size of a cucumber i have filled up a jug of water and i'm gonna cut these up and pop these in to zest the water and give it a different flavour, it's so refreshing and very nice throughout the day. Last up to two to three days at the most, I'd say. But here we go. cucumber water I've also managed to pick up this bottle from Aldi and if you look here it helps you calculate how much you drink throughout the day so you should drink two of these bottles a day so that says 8 to 12 and then 2 to 6 so I've been trying to drink two of these a day at first I was going to the toilet a bit more obvious reasons and but now I've found it has really helped me to stay dehydrated uh, dehydrated hydrated and um, I've seen a difference in my skin how awake I am it's just really recommended I believe you can still get these on offer in Aldi for only Three ninety nine, and on the other side it says hashtag sparkle. So I've been loving this. Just made a latte with my Tassimo machine. It's with two pods, a coffee pod and a latte pod. I then put this sugar free vanilla I just fill the lid up the cup full and put that in in between before I put in the coffee after I put in the milk now I've got two rice cakes a peanut crunchy butter and this is just our design and it has 50 grams of fat per 100 grams if you look at this is a guideline and you can see which one is the healthiest or better for you and then I've got a full banana and I use a teaspoon as a measurement so I use one teaspoon and spread it out with the back of the teaspoon to cover the rice cake and then I also use a teaspoon to cut the banana into pieces it's usually five or six pieces on each rice cake and i'll show you at the end so this is the end result peanut butter rice cakes and the little flowers how convenient they're pretty petals of banana so I'm going to go and enjoy this in front of Love Island. Right, so it's around 11.03. A bit later for a snack. Usually I have it about 10, half 10. 
but I've been doing some housework, getting ready, blah blah blah. These are two smoothie mixes I managed to pick up from Aldi. Obviously, you saw me make my green smoothie. I wanted to see what these were like in comparison. So it's just empty. 80 grams of frozen fruit into a blender pour 100 millilitres of juice or water into the blender three blitz into smooth and serve immediately i presume yep that's exactly the same so this one's strawberry and banana and then this is a green smoothie so i'm going to try the green smoothie in comparison to the one that i made maybe this has some different things in it see what got in there and then also i will be trying the smoothie in the future and i'll let you know if i like that over on my instagram i'll link it here if you want to go and follow me and I'll let you know how that one is as well. I'm sure it might be lovely. It looks very nice. But this is what I like to generally have as a snack in the morning and a little smoothie. So I'll blitz that and show you when it's done. So as you can see, I've made it up. I think the mango gives it a sweeter taste. I do like this one as well i will be trying it with mango in the future myself also thought of trying to add banana give it a different flavor but definitely recommend this one to fill this mason jar up i had to do 160 grams along with 200 milliliters of water so it was two of the measurements to fill this glass up but um, yeah, that's how I've done this one. Whether it would be better for your money, I'm not really sure. We'll have to experiment and see if I like this one more. Gonna tuck in now. Now lunchtime. I'm just making up a salad. I've got pineapple and cottage cheese, fat free, a tablespoon of that. I've got lemon and herb. I've got about six olives and two pickled gherkins with a mixed leaf salad. These are all from Aldi. And then I've got two little bits of steak and some coconut oil so I'm taking teaspoons I'll whack that in with that and then just add it through the pan and melt into the steak I'll cut that into little pieces and have it in the side so this is the steak all done I do like it literally lightly cooked medium not quite blue but there is a little bit pink in there so i do like it like that if you don't like me i'm sorry but this is the way it's cooked and i'm going to tuck into that it's one minute one and i just want to prove i have drank all my water this isn't dirty on the bottom by the way it's just the um sticker when well, the sticker can come off see ya I am actually going to empty this lemon and cucumber into there to drink until six o'clock tonight. And then obviously this does use it up a little bit more. But you can see it's got all the goodness in there from the fruit and well lemon and cucumber throughout the day zest in the water so i'm gonna enjoy that until this evening keep hydrated 
I recommend this definitely and I just want to say also from lunch I don't always have the same salad obviously don't always have the same breakfast I mostly do have the same breakfast correcting myself there but salad always switch it up so as I put this back in the fridge I'm going to show you the fridge is full at the moment so I do buy sandwich meats as well so this is roast chicken a family pack and then obviously like I said I've got the olives I'm not focus there olives I love in my salad I've actually got some tomatoes I love tuna I've got celery celery is particularly good for you I did try and put that in my green smoothie gonna have to try and find another way to do celery juice along with something else um there is plenty of fruit in here always have uh these are the wonky grapes and they are lovely blueberries is a big sharing pack and make sure I have a big pack of glory on the go always. Got easy peelers up here. Um cheese bread, Rory's just had that in a sandwich. I haven't shown you too much of Rory's food today, but he obviously is being fed. <laughs> He's had a cheese sandwich, some crisps. There he is, just watching this, hello. Say hi! Hi, So these are my afternoon snack. It is now around 3.09, 3 o'clock. I usually have an afternoon snack. Sometimes I don't have this, to be fair. Sometimes I have it throughout the day. Are you sorry? <laughs> She's opening the door there. I have made my turmeric latte, and the same goes for this. If I'm not at home, obviously, I don't make this for on the go, I just make it at home. But the benefits of this is amazing. If you haven't checked out my last video, do go and check it out. The golden mute. Golden milk, golden milk turmeric latte, and my green juice on my last tutorial. And this is what I'm going to have three dark chocolate rice cakes and my turmeric latte. You go check that out, I will link it down below. And and then next up, last up, is dinner and afters. Hi! Just here I wanted to say that I don't always have these snacks. Always have the same thing throughout the day. I do try and switch it up. But mostly if I do have a snack, I will have the dark chocolate rice cakes. Um, I'll try and get them as much as I can if I can't get them I will have um, some dark chocolate like Bourneville or like I uh, like the Bourneville orange that we had at Christmas in the pan shop I have managed to get Bourneville on offer in Lidl's lately for under a pound um, I've also managed to get dark chocolate uh, truffles from Aldi that were only reduced to like 48p I believe which are marvellous I just have them when I have a real chocolate craving um, so I do try to remain to be healthy and eat stuff that I really like but I generally try and stick to dark chocolate, something that's healthy, but nice, naughty but nice. 
so they are my tips to keep in shape but also treat yourself to something that's good for you so i'll see you at dinner sorry if i'm whispering a little bit on this rory is actually napping we've got salmon fillets these are from frozen aldi this is all lovely and uh, mixed vegetables and sweet potato fries and these hot for them and three of these breaded chicken nuggets i've put a little bit of fry alert on the pan for the salmon this is frozen i'm gonna stick it in now it's the vegetables ready to cook up and then sweet potato fries and nuggets for Roy. It's now nearly six o'clock. I've got some water to drink. I've added light and mayonnaise, aubergine and baby spinach. But this is the end result. Well, I've got some tartar sauce and it looks lovely. Can't wait to tuck in. So this is an ice cream I've been eating in the evening. Uh, vegan coconut caramel non-dairy ice cream and it is lovely. It has um, dark chocolate chunks in it. Coconut non-dairy ice cream with caramel sauce and dark chocolate chunks. And this is Aldi as well. I believe that's under three pounds i have then got a tub here of dark chocolate truffles like i said and some bourneville so that's generally what i snack on in the evening i have up to three truffles three cubes of bourneville either or not both <laughs> and then some ice cream this is really nice so i have eaten a whole tub of this in one night which i shouldn't have done but i have so these are something that's healthy naughty but nice to snack on in the evening that's my recommendations dark chocolate coconut caramel ice cream all from aldi Obviously you can get them elsewhere. Dark chocolate truffles. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, so it's the next day I'm filming this outro in case you noticed that I look a little different. I had to rush to bed last night um, for a family reason. Don't really want to say, but I'll keep you up to date gonna probably take some time off but thank you for sticking around for the video if you stayed all the way to the end please give me a thumbs up and a like don't forget to subscribe and come a pretty petal and i'll see you again next time Mwah.